Domination. Happy New Year, guys. My name is Frey, and I'm bringing you a 94 and 2 Domination gameplay on Black Ops 2 for the Nintendo Wii U. So, thumbs up for that. Um, hope you guys enjoy it. And before I actually get on topic here, I just want to mention that I only died twice this game. Both of those deaths before the one minute mark. And I only got about six kills before that one minute mark again. So. You know, I go 6 and 2 within 1 minute, and after that, I just go basically flawless for 9 minutes, get 3 VTOLs, and basically kick ass. Unfortunately, those VTOLs did get shot down, but that did not even kind of stop me from destroying the other team. So, luckily, we kick ass, or particularly I kick ass this game, and I hope you guys enjoyed. This happens to be my most kills game so far, so, you know, I hope to break 100 soon. And I think with your support, I could definitely break it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now let's get on to the topic, which is Black Ops 2 Revolution Map Pack. Now, whether or not it comes out for Wii U is a different question, but I, I particularly, I, I actually, I really think that's obviously going to come out for the Wii U. You know, Nintendo usually is kind of stubborn about letting content on their marketplace I think you know s seeing how the Wii was handled but I definitely think they're actually gonna let us get final finally let us get map packs on Black Ops 2 there's no reason for us not to I definitely think it's gonna come after like a month after it gets released for Xbox you know I was really happy to hear that the contract finally ran out uh, be the contract between Treyarch or Activision and Xbox I thought that had finally ran out and it did you know, the contract, wait, oh, by the way, the contract that actually had them get the content first. Unfortunately, they renewed it, so we're still going to have to wait a month if you're on Wii U, most likely, or PS3 or PC. So, that is unfortunate, but let's check this out. I personally think they're going to hold, they're going to change the whole setup or what or whatnot, because, you know, originally when Black Ops 2 logo was revealed, uh, you know, it ended up being completely different so they, they could do that um, I'm not sure though but there we go Black Ops 2 Revolution map pack it's gonna include four multiplayer maps Hydro, Downhill, Mirage and Grind and one zombie map Die Rise and for the first time ever in Call of Duty DLC they're gonna include a brand new weapon the Peacekeeper SMG now I'm actually interested in seeing how the peacekeeper is going to be handled. Are they going to make it so you no longer have any diamond weapons until you finally get this gun gold or is once you actually get the map pack is this gun automatically going to be, you know, diamond and gold once it's downloaded cuz I personally have all my submachine guns gold and diamond and with the addition of a new submachine gun is that going to make it so I don't have it? So I'll no longer have any diamond submachine guns because I don't have the last gold submachine gun. Or is it going to be like, already has it. Or is it going to have its own different camo challenges. That's what I'm interested in seeing. If you get it, if you already have diamond, gold, all submachine guns. And you get this and it's already diamond. I think that's going to be pretty cool too. Although that kind of breaks the challenges factor of gun. But based on the promo poster, it seems Downhill will be the first snow-based map for Black Ops 2. If there's one thing I missed in Black Ops 1, it's the snow maps. I really like them, you know. It's really cool, especially when you're running around in, in a ghillie suit. Especially, too, if you have a headset, you can really hear those footsteps on that heavy snow. While Activision and Treyarch has yet to deny or confirm any of these, it does look legit. If so, expect it to hit the Xbox 360 probably by late January. Uh, with the other versions, of course, getting their DLC a month later. Currently, there is no price connected to Revolution. But, you know, according to what we've seen in the past, it's most likely going to run around $15. Uh, which should be expected by any Call of Duty fans. You know, you should expect to be playing well, well premium for that. Of course, if you're a season pass member, which of course many of us Wii U owners and Black Ops 2 gamers for on the Wii U don't have, unfortunately, the Revolution will be the first content drop 
it, uh, for your fifty dollars that you actually put down for that season pass. Unfortunately, like again, us we don't we on Wii U don't have a season pass. We don't have elite capability, so it's gonna be interesting how we see and get that. But seeing as we have no clue what the maps will be, the big news here is a Peacekeeper submachine gun. This is the first time in Call of Duty history that a weapon will be part of DLC. So, what will happen once a non-DLC buyer picks the weapon up? Will it be able to use it? If I had to wager, I, I guess, they should be able to pick the weapon up and use it, but not have it accessible on their loadout or challenges, if I'm not mistaken. So, that's going to be very interesting to see, you know, if you don't have the actual DLC, and your friend does, but you're playing on the same map, say this one, that I'm playing on right now, if, I'm if I have the Peacekeeper with me, I die, and then my buddy over here comes and picks it up, are they going to get challenges for it? Because technically, they shouldn't have that gun. In fact, because they don't have the DLC, should they even be able to see how the gun looks? Or is it just going to be, is it going to transform into a s another submachine gun of sorts? I'm really, interesting in s I'm really interested in seeing how that's going to play out. And uh, so now that you know that the first map pack for Black Ops 2 will be, are you excited to get it on whatever it comes out? <laughs> or will you be playing other games by then? What do you think of the Treyarch adding a new weapon as part of this DLC? Is this a good move or will it just mess with the game's balance? Personally, I think that adding a new gun is going to definitely improve the gaming experience because everyone loves trying out new weapons. I personally... I, I was very disappointed when I finally got uh, my 10th, what was it, 10th or my 5th token to get another creative class, or my actually my 6th token to get another creative class option, and it was gone. I wanted to get another creative class, I wanted to have like 20 creative class, because I love weapons, and I would love, extremely love, to just have a lot of loadout options. Fortunately, you can only have 10 as it's been forever, I think. So that's that sucks. Really, it does. Because I really was hoping to have a lot of options. Because I want to try to use every gun, you know. And it's not it's not like Battlefield where you can be in the game and change it up however you want. At any moment you want. And it's not like PC where you could basically do the same thing. So that's that's pretty lame, I gotta admit. But, oh well. It's, it's still a new submachine gun. That's going to be fun. I love submachine guns in this game. I think they're the strongest class out of all of them, as they've, I think, always been. But it's definitely something I'm going <laughs> to enjoy trying out. Because it honestly looks kind of like an Asar rifle, if you ask me. It looks like an ACR, kind of. Um, so it's going to be very interesting how that weapon plays out. And I got I to gotta say, these maps look pretty cool, too. Grind very interesting hydro I can only assume it's gonna be a shit ton of water running or, or flooding the place maybe downhill snowy map who doesn't like snow come on man we should have had that by winter uh, Mirage it kind of makes me think of Oasis from Modern Warfare 3 it's gonna be interesting how that map is uh, I think and die rise that looks very interesting it kind of makes me think of zombie U I'm not sure why but it, it makes me think that. But that, you know, it kind of sounds like Dear Reese, too. So it's going to be interesting. Again, I can't wait to play these maps. Hopefully, we actually do get them on Wii U. And, you know, a great way to show support for the map pack on the Nintendo consoles is by showing support for the guy who makes videos of it. So I would really appreciate it. Like, I hope you guys enjoyed my 94 and 2 ponage of a gameplay. And I hope you guys feel for the fact that I, all my, my VTools got destroyed prematurely. Because that, that was a very saddening day in my Call of Duty history. But I hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay. Thanks a lot for watching. I hope you guys have a great New Year 2013. Expect a lot more content from me. And as always, I thank you a lot for watching.